Well, to be honest, I don't think it's going to be a rest day. I know yesterday I said it was going to be a rest day, but I think we're in due for a back day. So, back is going to be hit today after this meal. So, what do we have for, I guess, what, lunch? I know it's four. Yeah, so I'm 93.7. Fresh ground turkey. Don't mind my dirty hands. I have like a lot of stuff on my arms. Don't mind that. Alright. Well, I guess we don't really need the scale for this one. Because on the back, make sure I don't drop the turkey now. Well, I don't know if it's going to focus. See? There you go. So it's gonna be four servings. So 117 or 100, 100, 170 times four is 200 and no, 200, 680. Then how much is it? 22 grams of protein per serving. That times four, that's 88. So this is gonna be our pre workout meal. And to be honest, I don't even think I need that much meat. I'm pretty sure I'm already at 92 grams of protein. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Well, yeah, we'll have it. We'll have it. Whatever. We'll overshoot our protein. But, oh, I guess it's better to have more than not enough. So, what were we doing for back today? I think pull-ups might make me to the cut. So let's see. It'll be rows, pull-ups, and I might have a homemade, I guess, cable machine. But other than that, wait for this to warm up or you get cooking. So with this, also will come sugar-free barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness, why did this freaking camera keep shaking? That. Ooh, I wonder if I just take out take my pre-workout right now. Then we'll be hitting right after we finish the meal, but. I don't think I'm gonna finish the cooking, and then eating in time. And I'll just be itching through the the meal part. So I'll probably take that with my meal. Other than that, should be getting pretty warm. Yeah, that's pretty warm. Throw in some olive oil, tad bit, tad bit. Okay, cooking. Spread that way amongst the pan. Cardio? I know I said I was gonna... Actually, no, I, I never mentioned cardio in the last video. I mean, I guess kind of at the end. I said I was gonna record my cardio. I might actually walk for cardio. We'll see though. If I do go on a walk for cardio, I'll make sure to bring you guys with me. But other than that, pretty sure it's hot enough for this to start cooking. Yeah. That should take about five, ten minutes to cook. Yeah, let's see how you do That should be better. Whoa, what should I yap about? 
Oh my god, this, this, this encounter keeps on shaking. It was, I don't know why, I think it's probably just because we're, we're in the mobile home. So, every single movement, probably that I'm making, is just shaking the counter. Keep. Oh yeah, 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 this is exactly what it is. Well, I guess I'll try not to move as much. Let's see, what am I going to talk about? Hmm. This really is not really much to talk about. Mm. Oh, okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. So, not a, a lot of people uh, really have the, the drive to, I guess, chase their dreams of leap. I never really got that. If you if you really want something, what's what's stopping you from getting it? The only thing really stopping you from getting it is just not wanting it as bad. So I guess we gotta talk about drive. So whatever you want, what other choice do you have? You have to go, but to go get it. You got you want an example. Say you want to run 10 miles without stopping. You know, it's kind of random. But if you want to do it, you should give yourself no other choice. I mean, there's two choices. Either you're going to go out and practice and you're going to actually get to your goal, or you're just going to sit around and do nothing. Which would you rather choose? I know some people may, cho uh, may choose comfort over suffering. But in times of comfort, you get nothing done. Talk is very cheap, so even me, I have my own little struggles. For example, I used to do an hour thirty of cardio. I just lessened that down to an hour. Why you may ask? Because I don't want to be eating four thousand six hundred calories. It's not that it's hard, because I could eat a lot if I want to. See. It's just that sometimes I cut into my sleep just to be just to be eating. But hey, call me a. An excuse me you call me a hypocrite, but I feel like I not not that only me, not only I deserve to just eat the same and just lessen my cardio, but if it's something that's gonna give you an advantage, for me I'm still bulking, so I want to gain weight. So cutting the cardio is just kind of optimal. I could eat more, but it's in the kinds of my sleep. Some some days of course. Not not it's not like every day I'm staying up just to get my calories in. But it's just some days I'm already taking time off of my sleep just to just to freaking eat. Ooh but I can talk on this too. Okay. Sure. And let me bring these in. Sure, I could eat. I'm pretty sure two of these is 130 calories. Yeah, two of these are 130 calories. Sure, I could eat two. We we'll just what, two times two times ten. So twenty. I sure I could eat twenty of these. And have a hundred and a hundred, a thousand three hundred calories down, but it's just not a quality food for me. Since I'm on the bulk, I promised myself when I was very lean that I would do a clean bulk. Not because. Let's see, what, what was the reason I'm looking for? Uh, I mean, 
mean, I, I guess there really, no, right? there really is no other reason. The reason why I want to do a clean bulk is because, first of all, your health, your heart. Heart is your most important muscle in your body. So I'd rather take the extra steps to keep my heart healthy before I take care of anything else. So that's just, that's the, I guess, hard, harder part of doing a clean bulk. Is that, sure, I could eat whatever I want. Cookies, uh, sugar-filled cereals. <sighs> it's just, I get used to it. That's it. You don't want to fall into a trap of... It's dopamine releasing foods. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I eat plain and I don't like my foods, but I look at foods more of a, it's more of a fuel than a, a way of enjoyment, for example. So your, en your, your engine, your body's like an engine. You put cheap fuel into it. Sure, your car may run, but it's not to run at its best performance. You fill it up with good fuel. You're just you're just running at your best performance pretty much. First of all, uh, you feel good. Well, given that you don't have any <laughs> mental illnesses or physical illnesses. Uh, let's see what else. Most of the times you're not. What? not hungry still you don't crash for example like if you eat like a a lot of sugar you don't feel like trash afterwards you know that you're eating good foods that does play a mental role for example me junk food may feel good in the moment but always afterwards and i'm pretty sure this is the same for a lot of people it's not worth it it's like kind of like a a post food clarity, you may say. But this goes into all aspects. The I don't want to say the word because I don't want to get this video taken down, but. Anything that releases dopamine can be addictive. Uh, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. That, doing the deed, anything. But right now I'm focusing on food. I used to be a little addict to junk food. Used to be bigger. I just don't want to fall into that trap again. Oh, but back to the meal. <laughs> was yapping. This is almost done. Let's put some heat up. There's still some pink parts. Let's see what else is there to talk about? That was a long little rant. Hmm. talked about let me see if I can think of something this is a long silent segment oh I mean I guess we can go back to the the diet so I know I may talk extreme, like I see food as fuel and I don't, I, I try my best to stay away from junk, but when I say that, that doesn't mean your family wants to go out to eat, so you just don't go because, oh, I, I can't eat junk. 
I do eat junk once in a while. When I mean once in a while, I mean like maybe like a cookie here and there. So yeah, don't cut out everything. For example, I give you a good example. I kind of kind of regret it. I know it's kind of a double sided argument, but when I was in Texas, we, me, mom, my sister, and her boyfriend. We have to go get crepes. I already cheated the day before. This is why I didn't splurge on this day. Went to go get crepes. And I, I mean, I just sat there. By, oh, this, don't get me wrong. It was a good time. But part of me, it might be the fat side of me, but I should have ate. I should have had a crepe. So, uh, don't focus on your past like that. Whatever was in your past is already done. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect to hit back today, but I was itching. <laughs> I was like, uh, I thought, basically I thought I was too tired, more tired right now. about done i know it kind of looks just dry and plain but wait wait till we add the barbecue sauce Sugar-free barbecue sauce. So look at that. Now, now you guys might not think it's appetizing, but look at that, and it smells better than it looks. But yeah, let's cut to the meal. All right. Well, this is probably like. Yeah, I don't, even, I don't even think you guys can see me. Maybe I should bring a stool and sit down. Matter of fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'm pretty sure you guys can, still can't see me. See. Oh my goodness. You guys should be able to see me. So, let's not burn ourselves on the stove now. This is gonna be 680, oh no, no plus the barbecue, that's like, I'm gonna add on 20 calories because it's 30 grams per serving, and the serving is 10, 10 calories. So, this is about two servings. So, one no six eighty plus twenty seven hundred calories for eighty eight grams of protein. So let's see how it tastes. What can I say? Chow down at this. Really, there's nothing much to talk about. 
basically got everything out of my mind when we were cooking the meal. So, finish this up, take my pre-workout. Uh, I'll probably record the pre-workout, just because why not? Then we can go hit back. So, cut to the pre-workout if I record it. What I did say is that I was gonna take the pre-workout while I was eating the meal. So, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Same pre workout as always. Some people say you shouldn't rely off pre workout, but like I said last video, when you can take advantages. Of anything in this case we're just talking about the workout why not take it the main thing I'm really focusing on this is just the caffeine and the citrulline and maybe the beta alanine doesn't need to be out. So, let me drink a little bit. Same thing as yesterday. Let's make a funnel that you just need paper so let me go grab a little ripped piece of paper oh my guess this might be too small that's fine whoa phone's ringing so let's get this pre-workout mixed in Right now it is four, around 4.13. It'll probably be 4.15 right when we consume this. Oh my goodness, this scoop's not gonna be big, or this scoop, this funnel's not gonna be big enough. Maybe I should just invest to do a funnel. I thought about that numerous times and I just never do. Yeah, I think it's gonna be too small. Hmm. They could just lighten it up. There you go. There you freaking go. Alright. Oh my goodness, I'm spilling a little bit. Just a little bit. Tad bit. That could be snorted. No, I'm joking. Let's get that mixed up. good so like I always say when I take my pre-workout if you're gonna want to wait about 30 minutes might be less might be a little more but 30 minutes to actually feel the workout or feel the workout feel the pre-workout yeah I mean that's pretty much it much all I gotta say about that so back should be pretty good um, I'm probably gonna change out of these pants that pants on right now money was calling earlier and I picked up what can I say
Other than that, this is gonna go down the hatch, huh? So much suds on the top. Pre-work it on the hatch. And about, for me, it it hits in quick. Like I'll be itchy. Huck. It could be like 10 minutes from now. I'll already be getting itchy. Hopefully we don't have to use the, the restroom. But since I just ate right now, I think it's expected. Other than that, I'm gonna finish the rest of this. Then, we could cut to the workout. All right, so we're back. What are we gonna start on? I feel like we should start on rows. So, for, I say power building, so this is gonna be getting stronger and bodybuilding you're gonna obviously want some heavy lifting so preferably a uh, compound lift my compound lift for back is gonna be rows so I say for compound lifts I don't know if it's really a preferred rep range but at least some heavy movements before you move on to the I guess real squeezy movements. So we're, we're obviously not gonna rotate this. This is actually left from, oh my goodness, from yesterday. So, we're just gonna warm up with the bar, then we'll move up from there. First warm up set, just the bar. Honestly, the warm up sets, they're not just for obviously building up to the main set but it's to check if anything feels off anything you, you're much better feeling something off with just the bar than having weight on you because say something feels off especially if you're on say squat and say you're being a dummy like me the last leg day and you don't you didn't put the safety racks if i would have felt off while going very heavy, <laughs> you're kind of asking for trouble there. But other than that, we'll start on the, the warm set. I remember last back day, I was using the cambered bar. This time we're gonna use just the regular barbell. <sighs> All right, so. Probably gonna add a 10, then 25s, then probably fives or just go to straight 35 from there. Oh, forgot to mention, we are also gonna be using the lifting straps. Not because I have horrible grip. So th these are gonna be really fighting against gravity, so. Just holding the bar, holding the weight, especially I know I'm not going I'm not gonna be going heavy. But especially you strong people, you're gonna benefit just of, well at least for hypertrophy for using the straps. Cause you don't wanna be working your forearm. Pretty sure you could get a little bit of bicep activation. But you really wanna target your I think this works I don't think this is a lat focus uh, movement. But it hits back. I'm, I'm not sure what, which part of back this hits, but I'm pretty sure like it's a majority. So straps will help. I'm pretty sure I already did a couple sets with that 10. 
I don't, I don't even remember. But let's move on to 25s, yeah? So, 25s on the barbell. Let's get another warm up. Alright. To be honest, I think we'll do the 35s. So, next set will be our working set. Alright. We got the 35s on. Let me get some music started. We can get hyped up for the set. I'm gonna shoot for about eight reps. I did I have to use the potty? But let's get back to our set. Dude, you know what? Hold up. My audio sounds like trash. Let me start YouTube. Goodness. We try one more than eight. Well, I guess we could just add a five for our next set. I'm about to see how much reps I did on that one. But if I did more than ten, the quarter should be good. Alright, ready for another set. So technically this is our big really first working set. But I'll count that 35 is a set because I just went to failure. I'm not sure how much reps that was, but that was a good set regardless. Now let's drop it down to the 35s. We'll do one more set and then move on to something else. For a different new set. Oh my goodness, you know what? Hold up. So, after this, we'll probably move on to pull ups, maybe. Let's see. Enough of that, let's move on to pull-ups. Even for pull-ups, let me use the straps. Let me explain again, not because my grip sucks. It's because I'd rather just target the lats than be targeting uh, biceps uh, and forearms. I'm not really good at pull-ups, so I'm expecting me to get a lot. That was a good set. See it probably one more. Hey, right. I think I'm ready for another set. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that was only three, but still felt amazing. So after this, I'll probably go to We'll see. Alright, so I know I don't have a cable machine, but a piece of rope. I have this little handle. T tie some weights to it. That ought to get it done.
I'm not even sure if I'm in frame. Let me use this as an example. Just because the, you say you don't have music in a pre-workout doesn't mean you can't have a good lift. I'm gonna finish this lift so strong because the music's just another advantage that you could use, like the pre-workout. I lied. We're gonna do more pull-ups. Those, I guess, ugh, homemade cable pull-downs. They're all right. Just I think I should work on pull-ups more. Should be the last set, and we go check out the pump. And we're gonna push past failure. I'll show you how we're gonna do that. Yeah, those last sets where I just helped myself get up and control the weight back down. That's how you push past failure for pull ups. So, enough yapping. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. I think this will be better lighting. So, it's all for back. Let's check out the pump. Oh, that's great. Rear flat spread. Get this quick right up there. There we go. Ooh. Fixing my shirt. I think one size lower than the other, but oh well. <sighs> Rear double bicep. <sighs> what else is there? Pretty much we did all of the back poses. I mean. I guess just rear well what's it called? Rear relaxed. It's not really relaxed, but oh. you know what? We can get it shirtless too. Well let's fix up my beanie. That's all that calls for back. I think we're still a little bit pumped. Yeah, that's all that calls for back. Good pump. Um, again, it was gonna be a rest day today, but decided otherwise. Tomorrow will be, okay, to be honest, tomorrow might be for sure a rest day. Not because I don't 
want to work out because it's been like more than a week since I had a rest day. I know. Since I'm training pretty much every day, it's actually necessary for me to take a rest day. But other than that, there's nothing else much to talk about. Yeah? I'll see you tomorrow.